Yes, are we live? Hello? Anyone? Yes, good that you're watching to the video on demand of the live stream to the uh, PlayStation 5 event. We already got some uh, things going on here. Hype, hype, hype. I see people already say hype in the chat. Oh my god, I'm so excited for this. I got my uh, Horizon t-shirt on. This must be it, right? This must be it. This must be it. Woo! Uh, Joyce, are you maybe able also to uh, get into the YouTube uh, chat if you are able to? Would be nice. Thanks, Lucky Number Samron, and uh, B B N Z actually for becoming a uh, member of the channel as well. Thanks, Joyce. We already got some uh, cool sound. Okay, I'm getting in the mood here. I'm getting in the mood. Let's tweet out that we are live as well. It's been three years and a few months since Horizon Zero Dawn. Are we finally going to see the sequel? That's what I'm most excited about. I like your hair. Thanks a lot. I've actually uh, been to the barber. I've, uh, yeah, they, they went, they, they like opened up a few weeks ago and I was like really one of the first uh, who could go. It was really, really long during the quarantine. Hope everyone is staying safe and is doing well. Uh, 2020 is uh, a weird year and uh, it's about to get better. Hey, Big H, thanks for becoming a member and thanks everyone for joining in. And uh, Joyce also joining there in the chat. Thanks a lot. Um, I really can't wait for this. And if I should change anything about the audio, let me know. So if uh, my voice is too loud or if the stream is uh, like the audio from the stream is uh, too loud or the other way around, let me know. Will there be a God of War sequel? Yeah, let's go over the things that we can actually expect here while I hit report as well. Um, let's go over the things we can expect here. So, one thing that's going to be very interesting is how far will Sony go? Like, God of War 2, it's likely coming, right? The, 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 the reboot was very successful, so Santa Monica is likely working on that, but Will they already share it? Um, thanks, IDEC, for becoming a member there as well. Appreciate you too. Um, like, how far, far will they go? I really think that they will totally talk about a ton of things. I've said it multiple times in, a video or, uh, in, in videos already. The last time they announced a very big first party game was Ghost of Tsushima in Paris Games Week 2017. So it's been almost three years now since we had a very, very large uh, game. Ooh, what's going on? Hello, Herman? Herman, do you hear me? Herman? Oh, we're back. Voice is fine, it's good. Okay, thanks everyone for telling, saying Tetsu Avenged. Thanks for subbing there, appreciate you. Um, so, I totally think we will see the launch games. Godfall, lock it in. Like, it looks awesome, I can't wait to see more. So, of course, that three-player co-op looter slasher that's how they call it should be fun I think that's your typical launch game just fun with friends I made the prediction that it might be a PlayStation Plus game at launch not sure if they will go that far but I can see it happen housemark like looking at the PS4 launch there were not really a ton of good games like kills on Shadowfall was of course a looker I have to admit that it kind of fell flat uh, throughout the game I, I I did not really feel it compared to the previous Killzone games uh, that I really liked. But, like, I was mostly playing Resogun, the, the PlayStation Plus game that everyone uh, got as well when you signed up from moment one. And Housemark, the developers of Resogun, might be, like, working on the PlayStation 5 game as well. So, maybe we see that here. Um, so, I really think we will look at launch. I think Demon Souls Dead Remake, Blue Points, will totally be here. We'll be shown there are Bloodborne rumors as well that that game might be getting an enhanced version as I said also in my video maybe that's like a sort of bundle where they bring Demon Souls and Bloodborne in one bundle to give it more value um, so also I saw a lot of people talk about it Assassin's Creed Valhalla will absolutely not be here they got to deal with Xbox 
So I'm curious if Ubisoft will actually show up. Usually they are like showing up at events like this. Um, Jack says, will PS5 games be playable on PS4 thanks to the donation? Sadly not. No, no, no. And that's what will actually be exciting about what we're about to see here. Every game that we see here will be made, or let's not say every game, but at least the exclusives that Sony's are making themselves, or where they go out to a developer like we saw with uh, Godfall, where they really say, you do not have to worry about the PS4, just make a game for the PS5. And that would, of course, make way more exciting games, because then they can just focus on the architecture of the PS5, have it look extremely great. Um, and we, of course, are like, I'm still... I'm almost finished with my Last of Us Part 2 review. It will be up on Embargo, but I will actually be editing that uh, after this stream as well. But we also have Ghost of Tsushima. Like, those will really be the two final big PS4 games. And it seems like Sony will be shifting then to all the focus on the PS5. But that doesn't mean that your Far Cry 6 or the Assassin's Creed, of course, Call of Duty, will not release on PS4 anymore. Everything will still come to PS4 for, like, the first two years, I would imagine. Um, yeah, Watch Dogs could be here. I don't know. I I'm curious about that because it was already like re revealed as a as a current gen game, so I'm not sure. But I I would be shocked if uh, if Ubisoft wasn't here at the PlayStation 4 reveal event. They actually showed Watch Dogs, so it would be interesting to have them like show Watch Dogs again during this event. Will we see Spider Man? Yeah. That is really uh, one of the, the things that I don't think we will see Spider-Man. I would be shocked and I would be very happy when if we see it. But I really think that with Avengers coming out in September, Marvel Games, who of course, like, they are not really making the game, but they are overseeing it and they still hold a ton of the sort of ropes and they, they can likely make a ton of decisions. So I would not expect them to hype another Marvel game up when they want all eyes on the Avengers game. So, Sony will do multiple of these events, at least that's what they're saying. I expect this one to maybe be the biggest one, um, because it's the first coming out party, really. And maybe then later in the year, they will tease Spider-Man after Avengers already released. But, like, third party, it should be really be 50-50 from the rumors that are out there. So, a ton of third party, Resident Evil 8 could totally be here. They've been announced, like... And multiple Resident Evil 3 remake was at a state of play at the end of last year. Resident Evil 2 remake was at E3 2018, if I remember correctly. So Resident Evil 8, Resident Evil 7 was of course also announced, and then the demo was out. Would be cool if they did the same for Resident Evil 8, that like a PT style demo released today. Uh, Call of Duty will be here. Um, Capcom will, yeah, that, that's Resident Evil. Square Enix. Some people want Final Fantasy 16. I think it's a little too close uh, after Final Fantasy 7 Remake. Maybe they tease the new remake. I would, I would love that. But I really think that looking at all the third parties, they want to be at the event for the biggest console. Like Xbox is cool and all, but I, I was actually like, I'm actually like, it's pretty insane. Um, there are 400,000 people right now watching this freaking screen and that's only on the playstation account so there are a ton of people watching me and i really appreciate ev appreciate everyone here joining in um so yeah it, it, it's going to be it, like there are so many eyes on this event so i totally think that more that a ton of third party for third parties want to join in uh hey meme congrats man for uh yeah, graduating from college. I'm hoping for Horizon 2. Like, I'm, I'm, I have already showed you. Maybe you just joined, but uh, this worked the last time for Ghost of Tsushima. No, but really, I would be shocked if we did not see Horizon 2. Developers have been uh, hyping it up, liking my tweets. Um, composers of the the original Horizon game are like, eh, I can't wait for this event. Another like. It, I would be shocked if if Guerrilla Games did not show anything and they will likely do something Horizon. I'm just curious what it game will look like. I really think I would be shocked if I still sit on this chair. Or actually, I want to see the, 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 the gameplay, but or I want to see the, the footage. But I don't think we can 
imagine how good that game will look if it's only being made for PS5. Like, I went back to, I actually streamed Horizon on Tuesday, and it still looks amazing. Like, that game has a PS5 exclusive. I don't know. And the PC version might get a shadow drop. I would not be surprised if that was the case. Um, love Horizon so much. Yeah, we're watching history. Nice, uh, Twix. Hey, Yor, when can we expect a video version of the Assassin's Crest for members? Um, if you are like a Velociraptor member, so a member for $2 per month, it will be on Saturday. Uh, for people who are a Raptor, so $5 per month, it's already up right now. The YouTube tree... Yeah, the YouTube tree is too much. Like, there are so many people waiting. Like, I, I wanted to... I actually don't know the, the numbers for the Xbox event, but I don't think it was that much. And we were all wa watching, of course, for Valhalla. And uh, I totally expect a way more exciting um, stream for sure. Hey! Yeah, Sakarius, Sac thanks for the donation. I'm hoping for Horizon 2. I'm with you. I would like... I, I would lose my mind. Um, do you think we will see any Red Dead content? Like, if Rockstar wants to do something with Next Gen, then this would be the place to be. But I don't think that they will do anything new. The only thing that I can see happen from Rockstar is that they announce a Re GTA 5 PS5 version or Red Dead Redemption 2 PS5 version. Those games will run, of course, on PS5, thanks to backwards compatibility. But the best-selling game this generation is GTA 5 that launched on PS3. So I'm sure Rockstar wants to double dip, but I'm not sure if they will already kind of uh, talk about it here. Thanks, Jack, for becoming a member as well. Love your videos, K. Please give a shout out for my brother's channel, Raccoon Clan. Hey, uh, Ixonite, thanks for the donation and uh, shout out to Raccoon Clan. Hyping, I see hype in the chat. What else can we? What else can we see? What else can we see? Ratchet and Clank, like Jason Schreier, of course, one of the most well-known journalists. He kind of teased that. Spider-Man might not be the first Insomnia game that we see, so it might be that we see them release Ratchet and Clank first. Um, there were already rumors about this, and it might just be the perfect sort of family game at the launch. Neck was of course dead for the PS4, so they might want something like that too. Because I worked at like a, a retail, uh, when uh, not when the PS4 came out, but around that time, and or actually a little before that. but. I was so surprised by how many people just went in there and bought a PS3 because it had Ratchet and Clank and those family games. So I'm not like I think the PS5 will so sell out no matter what, but they want like a, to appeal to a broad audience, and Nintendo does that very well as well. Although I could argue that they are mostly for the family uh, sort of a family type of system. Although they of course still have the hardcore games as well. Um, do you think PS5 is online only? No, for sure not. They also will have discs, so you can just put discs in the PS5. Um, Crash Bandicoot was also kind of rumored, so there was merchandise leaked, so I'm not sure if they will reveal both Crash and Ratchet, but like one of them. Hey, an update, we got st we gotta stay tuned. Four more minutes. What will they start with? Let me know. What will they start with? I'm wondering if Herman Hulse will talk to Earth for the first time. I really hope that Herman will be here. Hey guys, I'm Herman. We are working on this for a very long time. Uh, no, no Valhalla gameplay, sadly. Any moment now, Last of Us Remastered for PS5. I don't think Last of Us and Ghost of Shima will be part of this show. I think they really want to focus on PS5 games. Is Horizon 2 a thing? Ask me in an hour and we know. Um, yeah, Batman, that's a good one. Warner as well, like... We know they were planning to do an E3 press conference and I saw tweets like as well saying that Hey, Warner was supposed to do an E3 press conference. E3 would have been over now uh, Or actually would be over like in five hours. So in a different world where E3 was still going on um, We would actually have seen the Batman game, Harry Potter game and Rocksteady's game. So now Warner is not part of IGN Summer of Gaming, like every other E3 thing that is going on. Are they really not going to do anything while they first had such big plans? I don't know, man. I don't know. 
we got another very generous donation. Thanks, Bad Monkey. Thank you for your excellent coverage on upcoming games. You're the best. Thanks a lot for the support there, and that's really the goal of the channel here to keep you up to date on all the games that I'm excited about. Again, tomorrow the review for The Lost Us Part 2. You don't want to miss that. Yeah, are they doing something with Silent Hill? That's also a a, a sort of rumor. That's also very interesting. If if it, th that's also like. I don't know if they want to reveal Resident Evil 8 and Silent Hill at the, at the same press conference, but Silent Hill, like as a sort of reboot by Japan Studio, has been heavily rumored, so we can totally see that. Avatar, um, Vikings Eagle said with a donation, thanks. Um, I, that's the Ubisoft game, I don't think it will be here, but it would be awesome. It would be awesome if that is Ubisoft's next gen game that they want to show here. I'm not sure though, but we will see. Uh, the, ne the next Avatar movie is supposed to come out at the end of next uh, next year and they've been working on it for a really long time so I think that would be pretty interesting. We got donations there from Scotty as well, appreciate you a lot. What about the new Saints Row game? Didn't they say that they delayed the announcement for Saints Row? We already know Saints Row is coming and there was a Cock Media um, sort of listing shown up in Amazon so I can see Saints Row happen, but I'm not sure if they want that at this event. I mean, it's still big, but th th that will likely also be a PS4 game. So I'm not sure what they will do with that, but I can see it happen. It's, I think, one of the biggest IP that, uh, that Cog Media has right now. So if they were going to show anything, then it would likely be Saints Row. I, I like the, I dig the music, I dig the music. Yeah, will you make the face cam smaller when you start? Yeah, I will. Uh, I will. Oh. Oh. We're going down, down. Yeah, I'm do doing it like this. Hope that's fine. The future is here, boys. It's almost here. Yeah, it's gonna start. Should start any moment now. Hope everyone is excited, because I am. Herman, Herman, where you at, bro? If they start with Horizon, then... Oh my god, I don't know what to say. Yeah, come on. We are live, right? What is the... We are HD, yeah. So, that's also interesting. Um, the show will be in 1080p, but after that we can watch trailers in 4K. So, totally stick around till the end, so we can go back to some trailers and actually watch them in 4K. Elden Ring, yeah, that's a good question as well. Um, I don't, I don't think that Elden Ring will be here simply because they likely already have Demon Souls, so From Software will be represented anyways. And Elden Ring was also showcased at the Xbox stage, so I really think that just like Dark Souls 3, I think as well, they will have an Xbox marketing deal. So if you're looking forward to Elden Ring, I think we will see it uh, at the Xbox showcase they will do in July or a little later. That's my uh, my take. Uncharted, I think. Oh, we're gonna start. Oh my god. No, immediately a trailer. Oh. Oh my god. Death Stranding. Confirmed. The box. Are they going to reveal the box already? We know how much you love Horizon. Right, yeah. I, I, I will lose my mind. I can't believe it. Triangle, okay. So we're gonna show the sacred symbols. There we go. Thanks for the uh, for the bits there. Did I not remove the sound of the bits? Okay, what is this? Yeah, the sacred symbols, okay. Yeah, okay, we're going back. Ever wonder, like, different choices? Okay, they're hyping How it up. They're up? gonna hype it up. No. 
I like the aim. They're going fast. 2020. Nice. Wipe out. Uncharted. Kill some. Go to war. Neck. Bloodborne. Yeah, Horizon. Infamous. I don't think we will see Infamous. Pretty sick, like Final Fantasy VII. It was also like a, uh, a exclusive for the time being. Yeah, Ghost Shima. Can't wait for this game. Oh my god. Me, together, we were destined for something great. Showcase those exclusives. Okay. Come on. This five gameplay, I was not impressed. I'm sorry with you. Whoa! GTA Online for free? Starting today, GTA 5 owners get. 1 million dollars. Sony already like giving the Dooku. Oh, it's PS4 gameplay. Okay, thanks for um, pointing that out. Okay, now, now it's time for the good stuff. That felt like an ad, to be honest with you. That felt like an advertisement before the show. <laughs> We rich boys. <laughs> Couldn't care less about GTA. There are a lot of people playing it, but like that's not why we tune into this event, right? It was great to kick hey. today off with a look back at just some of the seminal moments of the last 25 years. And what better way to bridge our past and our future than with a game that's graced every PlayStation console, Grand Theft Auto. It's been a privilege partnering with Rockstar Games for many years now. And we're thrilled to open today with the news that that partnership will continue with PlayStation 5. It's now just over a year since we began sharing technical details of PlayStation 5. But today's the day that we've been looking forward to for years. Yeah. When we get to show you just some of the games that some demonstrate games. our belief that PlayStation 5 mocks the biggest generational transition our industry has yet seen. The content we've curated for today's event showcases how PS5 has inspired developers to create new experiences that are transformative in how they look, sound, and feel. Enough from me. We're gonna have the games do our talking. Yeah, do it. <laughs> Gorilla Games, are you up? Whoa! <laughs> Studios, okay, this could be anything first party game. Hero's just someone who doesn't give up. Your dad said that. He was right. No way. No, no fucking way! <laughs> Go be a You're gonna start once. with this? Oh my god. Okay. Let's do this. No way! Oh my god. This look... I saw that mile scene on the streets. Oh my god. I want to see this in 4K. We will check it out after the stream. It seems like Miles is mostly the, the main character here. Wow. What's the name? Miles Morales. 20 to what? What? This year? えっと、今日は皆さんにこれが作っている新しいグランツーリスモのえ、シェアできるということで、すごく嬉しいです。今すごく嬉しいです。え、ファンの方が、あ、I want yeah, Gran Turismo, show me. Oh my god. Get ready. GT Sport 2. Yeah, this is gonna look good. But it will be interesting. Like, Microsoft has Forza, of course. I still can't believe we saw Spider-Man. What the heck? 
they're gonna release a new game in two years, and they did the DLC as well. Like, Insomniac is crazy, man. And PS5 only, like... Yeah, this looks good. Grudgment is back, yeah, 7 or... That looks good. This will be that game where if your uncle comes over and you're like, Hey, I got the new PlayStation. Look, look at this. What did I miss? Are you seriously just joining? You missed, I think, maybe one of the best trailers of this event. What a way to start. Never, nobody could have fought that. Seven, okay, nice. Is it this year, though? This is one of those games that can just keep... What, is this a mobile game? <laughs> This could really be one of those games where, like, oh, it's coming then and then gets delayed. It's like polyphony. They take uh, polyphony. They take all the time. What an amazing way to open! Oh my god! Yeah, it looks like an expansion. I'm actually just. I want to just talk about Spider-Man. Can we just talk about Spider-Man? This looks looks okay. Like, I don't. I can't. It looks fine. Yeah, it's ringing. But. I mean, even if it is like more of an expansion, because again, I think it won't be a full-fledged game because it's two years of development time, it will only be on PS5, so it will still be a significant jump. And then after that, Insomniac will likely get all the time they need to... Oh. Oh, is it Drive Club? Hello, guys. Oh, we're back, we're back. Luckily, it happened during this trailer. <laughs> I was making the drive club joke. Hope anyone gets it. Hope anyone gets it. I can't even focus anymore. Like, I'm with you. Literally jumped out of my stair when Miles showed up. Some people were really fast. I gotta give it to them. Like, they immediately saw it was Spider-Man. I was, like, not entirely sure. I thought this could be infamous or something. Like... What an... I don't know, man. Hing, hing, hing. Like... No, nah, just move on. Please. They're just first party games, guerrilla games. Oh. They're gonna end with Horizon, I think. They're, you're not going to release Horizon immediately. Is this a Japan studio game? No, Ratchet! Ratchet! Insomniac is, I mean, carrying PlayStation on, on, on one hand. It like a big the dimensions are collapsing. Whoa, on one another. this looks amazing. Get to, but get maybe this is a launch to, game as well. Like I could totally see it happen. I mean, we can't be that far. This is new. This, this must be new, right? They have found us, Ratchet. Oh my god. I can't wait to see this in 4K. It's something Whoa! Yeah, this is a new game. I I, I don't remember this from anything else. That's not listening! Oh my god, Sony won. And we're the freaking 12 minutes in and they showed they showed five minutes of gta oh my god whoa oh is it crank in time they also had like things like that i played every wretched game but i it's hard to remember everything i think this is new yeah whoa oh my god Looks gorgeous, yeah. Imagine this in 4K. Again, we will check out the best trailers in 4K after this. Oh my god. That's always like the, ga the case with Ratchet games. I just can't stop playing them. I'm like playing them and then I just can't. It's so addicting. It's really one of my favorite series that I I every game is good. Like. I even like Q Force or the yeah the, it was called Q Force in Europe. We have two the tower defense one for R for one I, I did not really like, but apart from that, cool. rift apart. What is even an Xbox? But did we see? Hi, I'm Marcus Smith, creative Yay. director at Insomniac Games. You're, the you're... entire studio is so excited to be able to share with you a first ever look at Ratchet & Clank Rift Apart. A brand new, full-length, interdimensional adventure brand built new, from the ground length. up for the PlayStation 5. We're doing things we've never been able to do before. Like, use dimensional rifts to be able to leap from planet to planet nearly oh my instantly. God. Or Normally put ray trace first... reflections on Clank. 
All of our alien worlds are filled with density and life previously unseen. Plus, Ratchet's all-new arsenal is more exciting than ever thanks to the DualSense controller's enhanced feedback. Oh no, okay. Ratchet and Clank are near and dear to our hearts at Insomniac, and we can't wait to share more with you in the future. But for now, here's another look. Yeah, give me that gameplay. Did Whoa, that's that? already a new move. The rumors were that this was supposed to be a PS4 game, but that they moved it to the PS5. The reboot they did, of course, in 2016 with the movie was super, super successful. It was the most successful Insomnia game before Spider-Man, of course. So it makes sense that they were doing a sequel. Oh my god, this looks amazing. There's so many characters and things on the screen. That's insane. Whoa. A kraken? Or at least a very large octopus. Whoa. And now you're in another dimension? Whoa. I will never get used to that. Hey, to break reality. See how many enemies are on screen. I, I don't think you've ever seen that in Oh, well, Daddy, give Horizon 2. Like, I'm fine with this as well, but yeah, we need Horizon 2 as well. They're saving that for last. I feel it. I feel that they're saving that for last. But yeah, I don't think it will be this year. I think we can say right now with certainty Horizon 2 will not come this year because they have Spider Man already. Like, you, you don't want Spider Man Horizon, Call of Duty, all those other games launching at the same time. Whoa, so you can like teleport towards the screen like a grappling hook? I'm down. I hope the pixel gun is still in this game. Remember that from the reboot? Where the enemies would become pixelated. That was awesome. But you got the dash as well. I'm not sure if that was in the game already. I don't think so. Oh my god. Fun fact, there are between 1.8 million people watching on the YouTube channel. All of them. Yeah, I mean, say fall 2020, they're likely going to say that or not. Is it 2021? No date? I think it's time for first, first party now, third party. It's time for Call of Duty. Call of Duty. Hello, guys. We made the dog even more realistic. You won't believe it. It's getting cold. The Cold War. No, it's Square Enix, okay. Bring it on. Luminous, oh damn. Final Fantasy? Like... No, that's obviously not the case, but... Hitman? No. This looks like Final Fantasy to me. That Call of Duty. Or like something more linear. Project Antia. Square always does that, like show a, a cool sort of thing that they are capable of. Designed exclusively for PS5. Sony getting the third party exclusives as well. Like, I don't see Microsoft do that. I don't know. It looked too linear. Looked good, I guess. Not convinced yet. Not convinced yet. They can't convince us that easy. Just show Miles and I'm fine though. I'm down. This must be like a smaller game. Yeah. I mean, space it out a little bit. I get it. I get it. We're only 19 minutes in, and this is already more exciting than that whole Xbox stream. Can we pet the cat, though? That's, of course, the, the main question here. This looks like um, Job Simulator. They, they had those, those hats as well. It's obviously not that. Bro, Xbox is dodo. No, no AC stuff here. Rip humans. 
Wall e the game. We play the cat or we play cat in robot world? Please don't talk too much. Sorry, it's a, it's a live reaction. But I, I, will, I will stay quiet when I think I need to be quiet. Thanks, Gary. I'm laughing my ass off. I tried to skip forward. Yeah, that's not possible. It's live. Meow the game. Nice. We haven't really seen a lot. I mean, I like the aesthetic. I like the world. Looks appealing. But I will likely not play it. I like this approach, by the way. Like, give us some space, not trailer, 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 but show us some cool silhouettes. PS5, yeah, we know that. Godfall. Give us Godfall. Oh, oh, okay. So they're giving some extra details on the PS5. 4K Blu-ray. Ultra high speed SSD, we know. It's very, very fast. Ray tracing. Yeah, that's kind of still like, how good will the ray tracing be? Because on PC, it's still very hard to, uh, to do. Hey, the DualSense. Nice. Show us the DualSense. Haptic feedback. I know a game where you can like really showcase the adaptive triggers. Like a game with a bow and arrow and a girl. Just saying. Yes, USB-C port is one of my most exciting things about this. Building microphone, nice. Like, the micro USB wires always. Oh, do we now hear 3D audio? Yeah, we do. If you have uh, headphones, you actually hear an uh, interesting uh, thing. Okay, that was nice and sweet. Oh, they're now going more in depth, or? We're getting spacey a little bit. Making hey. games used to be about these constant trade-offs between the artistic vision and technical limitations. With PS5, we're not going to be burdened like that. We're going to be able to realize our artistic vision a lot better. It's got a ton of horsepower, which is very easy to unlock, and it's a, a machine that's really easy to develop on. The PS5 will present a paradigm shift as to what players will come to expect from gaming. will let us tell stories, make worlds, great gameplay that I think will truly captivate the player and really surprise quite a few people. Please take a look at this new franchise for World War Studios coming exclusively for New franchise, 5. okay. I'm down, I'm down. How's Mark? So, creators of Resogun. They're back. They've been working on this game for quite a long time actually. I've got a ton of fun names moments on this alien planet. The crash. The attack. My death. The crash. The attack. My death. Trapped in this endless cycle. Is no escape. But what is the gameplay? Each time I awake, this planet seems somehow. They're going third person, okay. We already have a ton of third person games and each part. This world is becoming part of me, infecting my mind, my memories. The longer I spend here, the more I can feel like a top down shooter, away. man. But I cannot lose hope. Whoa. Okay, now third person. Like a, make a little bit Mass Effect style. My only choice is to go to gameplay. To keep looking for answers. First person. My only hope is to break the cycle. A little like the control breaks me. Returnal. 
Why does this look like Haze? Remember that Haze game from Ubisoft? Like the, the logo that is. Time loop, interesting. Yeah, I, I always always like things like that when things repeat. But I want to see just one logo, and that's uh, a logo from an Amsterdam studio. That would be nice. We will get there, I think. If they are showing Spider-Man, then all bets are off. Come on, PlayStation Studios. Sumo Digital. They, of course, did Little Big Planet 3 for... Um, are they doing Little Big, Little Big Planet again? Or uh, Garfield? Garfield the cat. Garfield the game. Garfield Razor. Little Big Planet. Yep. Little Big Planet. Thanks, Teeny Voice, for the sub. Oh my god. Huge. Great job. Good idea. I miss this franchise. It's such a unique franchise. And uh, it's, there's nothing really like it. it. You look at it and you immediately know that it's this game. That's awesome. I, I don't want to like talk to trailers when there's like people talking, but when there's like music, I can give my reaction, right? My first ever PS4 game, yeah, it came out 2015, I think. A little bit turned three. It's so interesting how Media Molecule, hey, co-op, um, of course, created a little bit Planet one and two, and they're now focused on dreams. And this game that Sumo Digital made will sell more than dreams, like. Dream's super ambitious, they just can't sell it, and four player co-op is back, cool. Curious what the impact on the PS5 will be, like what, what will make this better on the PS5, right? I'm just curious about that. I think it will be full fun though to, because of no load times, immediately jump into levels, like, oh I don't like this level, jumping out, going to the other level. Sack Boy's a big adventure, so they're not going with a little bit planned. They're, they're really going deep into... Oh, maybe a little bit less now coming. Or... Cool. Exclusive after exclusive. Oh my god. Riggs is back. London studio or something? Who's making this? Okay, they're trying their own Rocket League style game, but with like... Or, or like kind of uh, twisted metal, but the more cartoony style. Show us Black Ops. It will, it, will, it will be here, I think. I mean, we still got... I feel like we've already seen a ton of games, and we still got more than half an hour left. Demolition Derby, yeah. Pass for me, yeah, for me too. This is not really my game. They they seem to really focus on the Fortnite sort of audience as well with like the crazy skins. Um, and I feel like I've seen all these characters before already. Like they're like that guy looked like Grinning uh, or like uh, what's the guy from Overwatch? G Genshi with the with the gray head there. The I don't know, man. But they, they want more multiplayer games. They want you to, uh, yeah. They, they're really like good with third person single player games and they will of course keep doing that. Yeah, Rock, Rock, Rocket League, uh, Destruction All-Stars, oh man. PlayStation All-Stars, it lives. I don't know about this one. Should be a free game. I hope that's a free to play game. Otherwise I'm like, I don't know. Third party, time for third party. Hello everyone, my name is Josh Greer and this is my brother Mike. We're from Ember Lab, a small team with a background in film and animation. And we're very excited today to share with you the first look at our new game. It's a story full of adventure and charm that has themes in personal growth and redemption. So please enjoy. What an amazing opportunity for those two, like of the small team to uh, 
to uh, showcase their games at this event. That, that must be like a huge opportunity. Looks interesting. I know you are kind. You sense the power that flows through this land. Yet, you do not fully understand it. Okay, it looks pretty cool, actually. Driven by the belief that you can help these troubled spirits. But you cannot hide your weakness from me. Okay. Big man, big man, big man for PlayStation. Cute. This kind of looks like that Unreal Engine 5 game <laughs> in some way. I love the art style. This is combat as well. It really looks like Pigman with more action uh, oriented. Okay, I mean, it's good that Sony is still like chasing these artsy projects. Of course, we got Shuei Yoshida, who of course first was uh, in the shoes of Herman, so the, stu uh, the studio head of Worldwide Studios is now chasing all those indie projects, and this is likely one of the things that he adored, so he wanted to showcase. It got potential, I'm not sure if I will play it. Looks like Zelda Breath of the Wind. <laughs> hey. You ever feel like you're just waiting for a sign? To do that thing you've always meant to do. The, the Sometimes game was I not feel like I'm just standing on the edge of doing great things. Any made the game, not really any. But right. something's holding me back. Maybe it's just nerves. Maybe it's the fear that I'll never be as good as what I imagine when I'm still just standing on the edge. Are these dinos? But if yeah. we've got nothing else to lose, we're, we're, yeah, might as well jump. Dinosaurs. It's like a high school drama with dinosaurs. What is the gameplay, though? What is the gameplay? Go up presents a single player game. Goodbye. Okay, no fun. That's likely the high school. 2021, at the end of an era. Okay, but what is the gameplay? Like, I've seen this look like the opening cutscene to a team, uh, to like a high school uh, show, TV show. Like the opening theme song or anything. Need more explosions. Hi, I'm Lorne Lanning, oh, and I'm Lord. here to share with you a game that I've been dying to make. It's an emotionally engaging story where rescuing is rewarding, failure is devastatingly hilarious, and the memories should last you a lifetime. Take a look. I think the approach is great. Like, give the person, the, the creators, like so, just a few moments to talk about the game and then immediately show the trailer. Where would Microsoft we really saw a Zoom call? A They believed, trusted, followed, and it led them here. You may have escaped world, right? the murderous blades, but the fate of your entire people. Okay, now we got one half an hour left. If they just focus on Horizon for that, you. I'm fine. Like. Oh, 
still can't believe they announced this fight. Oh, thanks for the donation there. Thank you for being you. Thanks, uh, we really appreciate it. What makes this PS5? Like, I don't get it. Why are they showing this? I'm sure some people get excited by this. But that's what I really like. Like, they started strong with Ratchet. They really showed, yeah, what we can do now on PS5 with the riffs. We could not do that on PS4. And I really like that. Well, the, the games we've seen here, I'm like... PlayStation 5 why? Tango. Tokyo, Tokyo, what game? Wow. This game looks awesome. From Bethesda. Tokyo, Ghostwire, Tokyo. Oh, wow. Supernatural, the mysterious Tokyo. So, I'm going to go to the next one. I'm going to go to the next one. I'm going to go to the next one. This could be really good. This could be really good. The trailer last year during E3 was awesome. Bethesda, of course, not doing their own show, so it makes sense that they are teaming up. And Tokyo, man. What an amazing city. Still need to go to one day. I did went to Japan last year, but... You see things others can't. From the makers of Evil, Wi uh, Evil Within. Hear threats others don't. Scary stuff. Fight when others won't. It's up to you to save Tokyo. Oh, it's first person? Wow. This looks awesome. Go for just a uh, group. I did not expect this gameplay, but it looks awesome. But this game will likely also be on PS4, so that's why it doesn't look that visually impressive, I think. But yeah, we'll be close yet. cool 2021 okay they're uh, doubling down cool is it call of duty time are we getting cold is it time for the cold war or godfall i want to see godfall i want to see godfall but it's neither of those Spider-Man 2 was already announced earlier in the stream. You can go back if you're watching YouTube. This looks interesting. Gonna get a limbo vibes. Okay, never mind. It, it's going way uh, bigger. This is Starfield, everyone. Propelled by dreams. Whoa, is this game made in dreams? Journey vibes, yeah, I get it. Or it's like a civilization type game. Okay, what the heck? Okay, what the heck?
Jen? Jen? Launch game, okay. Interesting. Super Brothers and a Pine Scented. Still got some big hitters, so uh, curious when they will drop it. This seems to be like the indie hour, apart from Ghostwire, of course. Yeah, Godfall. There we go. Really curious how this game looks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We want to see this in 4K. I don't think that the 1080p stream is doing it justice. Monster breath taking weapons. Look at me now. Kill me down. So give me the give me the crown. Make way for the tank. Yeah, armor is really a big part of this game. That should also like impact your playstyle. We're not the same, we're not the same. We're not the same, we run everything. We're not the same, we're not the same. They ain't got us running through these things. Make way for the king. Okay. Interesting. Available holiday, yeah, we know that's awesome art. I really think that you have to play this game. You have to play this game to understand it, I think. What? Kratos Shield? Did I miss that? Yeah, I wasn't that impressed as well. Gotta be honest. I really think you gotta play it. Really gonna save Horizon till last. Okay, okay. I don't know. Show us something good. So I'm speaking true. No horizons are done yet, no. Yeah, I hope so as well. We still got time though. We still got like 20 minutes. Solar Ash, okay. Okay. Moving on. And we still got Resident Evil 8 like rumored as well. Call of Duty like. I think they're really going out with like a huge bang here. But we will see. Hitman? Yeah, a Hitman. They're doing another game already? Hitman 3, I think. Oh wow. It was always gonna end like this. They're pumping these games out like insanely fast, by the way. All your hard work. Your sacrifice only sped up the process. Love these games, by the way. Ton of fun. Maybe that's already this year as well. And now you find yourself alone. Music. Only death awaits. Three. Okay, cool. Cross the end, I would, uh, I would think. I think this also launched. January. Nice. Good release date. They made the mistake with Hitman 2 to launch it in the holiday. It was like, it was eaten alive. I think January is great. 
Cool. Hacker Nabrak here from nice. Ion Tractive. In Hitman 3, Agent 47 is back for his most intimate and professional contract in his entire career. This is also the dramatic conclusion for the World of Assassination trilogy. I'm so proud to be here to present a little glimpse of the gameplay nice. where Agent 47 is on top of the world in Dubai. Enjoy. Nice. I like it. Trailer cinematic fun. Show a little bit of gameplay as well. Like, that's awesome. But it's still unclear. Like, this running on PS5, you would think that, right? Awesome, Dubai. Wow, this looks awesome. And the music again. I think this is it. Yeah, yeah. There was a small bit of footage. I wonder who's publishing it. Death awaits. Nice. Is Warner publishing it again? They uh, also published uh, Hitman 2. Oh, whoa, that came out of nowhere. Oh, are we really going into the UI right now? God damn it, yes. Show me what you got. Oh, never mind. Wow, nice. Nice. Not VR then, I would think, right? Astrobot. Thanks, Yavi, for the sub there. They, of course, were in your PS4 controller, I think, at the launch as well. They kind of give me the rabbit vibes from uh, Ubisoft. Astro Playroom, of course. Japan Studio. That need, uh, that's likely, a, four, that, that's likely a, a game that's installed on all PS4s to kind of see what the controller is capable of and stuff like that, I would imagine. I'm so happy, nice Mandalorian. Okay. Yeah, the PS camera playroom is free. Yeah. I want to go back to the Spider-Man train. <laughs> I'm already like, I want to look at the Spider-Man trailer. Only Spider-Man exciting so far. No, man. No, man. Ratchet was awesome as well. Hitman looks great. Um, Tokyo uh, also looked great. Goes white Tokyo. I'm probably forgetting some games. Some people say, uh, it's not a Switch, like, remember that it's good for a console to have a very diverse lineup of games. Like, even if this is not your game, other people will enjoy it and you will still have your games that you like, right? You will still have the blockbuster games that you buy a system for, but it's cool that it's good for a system to have a diverse lineup. And it's really one of those games where maybe it's really good. Uh, Sony is actually believing in it and showing it here in in this stream. So maybe we now get like play this and see. Hey, this was actually good. While well, otherwise we would have totally missed it. But yeah, I feel we need more heavy hitters now. It's time for heavy hitters. What's up, everyone? I'm Zion Williamson of the New Orleans Pelicans. Here yeah. we go. The first ever teaser for NBA 2K21. Y'all are not ready for this. Oh man. Casino. Are we gonna get a casino? Slot machine. 
Hey, who put basketball in the slot machine? Pre-alpha PS5 footage, okay. Trying to bring you down, but for real, you might as well give up now. Think you got a chance, but I don't see how. Got a real tight grip when I hold that crown. I was I'm for a real long time. Owns the place I was like, oh, out. so far, no music that would, uh, like, play my stream. Well, Godfall and uh, NBA. Yeah. They will totally be in. I mean, that was gameplay, it looked very good. I, I for one moment thought it was like an actual Feel life. person. So. No shit, it's fall 2020. Imagine them skipping a year. That would have been news. Yeah, they want the Nintendo crowd. <laughs> what the heck is this? Amazing, aren't they? Half bug, half snack. <laughs> A very recently discovered species, entirely unique to this island. Oh, hey, they're going this animal one's lively. Beautiful seed patterns. And it's tasty too. Welcome to the island of bug snacks. Like bug and kind of snack. Octo dads, okay. This is so random. What the heck is going on? <laughs> this is so cute. Okay. I like the music. No, no, no. Hey, Ape Escape. People wanted Ape Escape. We saw. Random uh, creature in a, in a ball rolling there. Bugs next. Bugs next. Nah. I mean, they could have made Octo that too. They're trying something new. me on the island of Liz, the hey um. I was trying to carry a lamp with my weenie hands, but I dropped it, and uh, now the town's on fire. Oh, again? With an X, okay, box snacks. I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know what's what's weirder to have GTA 5 open the show. Or this. Oh, whoa! They got. Oh, it's a launch game. It's a launch game. Lock it in. They're building anticipation. We know that we still have some heavy hitters left, but there's only 10 minutes left, I would say. Come on, they have to show Horizon 2. Like, I'm happy with Spider-Man, but I, I will be disappointed if Guerrilla Games is not here. Are they hyping it up? Hi everyone, hey. thank you for being with us today for this very special event. But before we get to the end of the show, I have something very near and dear to me. This could be it. Looks incredible. Oh wow, what, what, what are those creatures left to the left? Yeah, Demon Souls. Demon Souls remake, it's here. Okay, blue points. Yeah, it's Demon Souls. Fun that uh, Shuei Yoshida is actually talking about this because he actually 
said no to this game, like they didn't want to publish it in Europe and the US when it came out on PS3. Looks amazing. I've seen this trailer like without the... Whoa. Like, I know the older trailer and like comparing it is insane. Looks insane. Demon Souls. Hope they show some gameplay as well. Demon Souls is the, really the first game that started the Dark Souls series and Bloodborne and uh, Sekiro that came after it. It's the the From Software game that really started it. It was a PS3 Destin exclusive. Is a next-gen first-person shooter about rival assassins nice. locked in a time loop. This is our unique vision. What Arkane is all about. This awesome. Freeform immersive gameplay, a surreal player-driven story smashed together. Want to see some stylish action? Yes. Check this out. Creators of Dishonor 2, Death Loop, Bethesda. Weird that they did not show De Demon Souls gameplay and no date. So likely not a launch game. Then. Oh wow! I already like the look of this. I love the Dishonored, by the way. Amazing. Oh wow! She is not making this easy. What a setting, man. Wow. Oh, wow. This gameplay. Okay, immediately disappears. This looks awesome. Yeah, Dishonored. I love how this is basically Dishonored, but just a new IP. We wanted more of this, but we wanted also something new. I get a lot of We Happy Few vibes as well. Oh my god, this looks awesome. Damn. Oh, then you have to start over. Oh, wow. Here's when it's Good watching. morning, Black Reef. Another day, another death. Our time loops fun. For everyone else on this island, this place is paradise. A never-ending party. Where hunting me is the main attraction. And no matter how I try to escape, they always cut me down. But I'm one stubborn motherfucker. I think this looks awesome. Every loop I'm learning a little more. Piecing together the puzzle. There's eight targets. And they all gotta die before midnight. There's just one little snag. Yeah, she's, she's you thought it was going to be easy? Juliana Blake, Black Reef's protector, and a real pain in my ass. She may kill me a million times, but eventually, inevitably, I will break this fucking loop. This is like go up or loop. No, it was loop. This looks awesome. It's like the dishonored sequel that you did not thought you wanted. So glad they're sticking with this instead of like doing something completely different. While still naming it something else. Wow. This must, must be one of the most exciting games that I've seen. Is there a release date? I don't like watching you die. I like killing you. There's a difference. Yeah, you can play her as well. But who is? What a tease. Come on, we still got five minutes left or so. Oh man, they gotta bring it now. They gotta bring it now. I just need to see one logo. Why are they saving it till the end?
his story comes to a close. Long ago, a young girl went with her mother to the fairies for her father. It was hard work. Silent Hill? But the forest greeted them with a dark, cold silence. The bushes empty. Yeah, this they looks horror to me. To the berries, the Resident Evil, maybe? Of mother's grasp and vanished into the trees. Mother's worried cries faded fast as the girl ran on, over vine, under branch. Yeah, this horror. Prepare yourself. What is it with that creepy story? It's just a local tale. You're really into that stuff? I ain't watching so this. Paranoid. Now, Evil Within is not the... It's gonna be either Resident Evil or Silent Hill. No, no! Friendly! Friendly! Whoa. Who are you? Who sent you? What are you? Yeah, this this looks like Resident Evil to me. It looks like Resident Evil to me. They're coming. Who is? Resident Evil 8. Yeah. This looks awesome. Right? I wouldn't be surprised this January 20. 21 as well. Or is it? Wow, the graphics are great. This looks awesome. I'm not a fan of these games, but it looks awesome. A ton of interesting characters. Yeah, Resident Evil. Village, yeah, Resident Evil 8. This was already rumored. Resident Evil 8 Village. Chris? Sorry, Ethan. Why? 2021, yeah. Wow. Looked good. Looked very good. But now, one more thing. Hey, guys. My name is Mark Cerny. And now I want to talk about the SSD in Horizon 2. Come on. Come on, I'm wearing this shirt. Now it's uh, one hour, a little more than one hour, a little more than one hour. Call of Duty, god damn it, are they gonna quit, end it with Call of Duty? Or is it not Call of Duty? What the heck is this man? This looks like a Black Ops character. <laughs> what is it? No, it is not Call of Duty. Something new. What? Oh! Risa, are you sure? No, I don't think that space will be here. Death Stranding too. Okay, ne nobody could have guessed that. <laughs> what is that? But it, 
It's intriguing. I thought it was a Black Ops 4 character. Because of the helmet. Freedom. Imagine if that was caught. Yeah, I thought it was caught until the girl showed up and I'm like, okay, they're not going to show a girl in a Call of Duty trailer. We still got some... Um, I don't know, man. They were hyping it all. If Horizon 2 is not here, I don't know what to say. One more thing. It can... Be, this can be it. Yeah. Looks amazing already, so high chance. Would not be surprised. Yeah, this is it, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. you see the buildings already. Oh god, there we go! The old ones. Perished a thousand years ago. They're great cities. Yeah, we hear already. Turned to graves. Oh my god. In their place. Underwater gameplay? Came new life. Wow, the graphics. Look at this. Oh my god, they're going tropical. And new dangers. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Same mount, I was hoping I for a new mount. must find a way to stop it. Or it will get worse and worse. What the heck? Whoa! <laughs> Toad machine. Wow, that, that destroys us all. There's nothing I wouldn't Boris. do to save this world. Yes, underwater. No depth I won't explore. Oh, snap off. No secret I won't unlock. Yeah, new machine. The dragon. No barrier I won't cross. What is this game This play? mission is mine alone. If I falter, if I fail, there won't be anyone left to stop. I can't coming. imagine it. Yeah, yeah. What are you up to, man? You still at the horse? Okay. Yeah, you Forbidden West! Oh my god! I called that one! I called that one! Oh my god! New faction. But whatever comes. I called that one! Oh whoa! Oh my god! And they're like en enemies on top of Are they going to show gameplay as well? Oh my god! On behalf of the entire team at Guerrilla, we're happy to share the first look at Horizon Forbidden West. Nice. We're continuing Erga's story as she moves west to her far future America. To brave a beautiful but dangerous frontier masked with mysterious new threats. Get ready to explore distant lands ravaged by massive storms. And take on new powerful machines as you return to the majestic world of Horizon. Stay tuned for much more. We can't wait for you to get your hands on it. When? When can we get our hands on it? Oh, and now we get Call of Duty. Okay. I think there's a lot to look forward to I for think. the community. Big fans are going to be really pleased. Wow. As a game designer oh my and storyteller, God. this is incredibly exciting. Was it gameplay, though? Was it cinematic? I think it was gameplay. That we can create for the player. No matter oh where they God. are. No matter and that who name, they that are. name. I love that name. Like we've never had I love before. that name. More iconic, interesting characters. 
more atmospheric, immersive world. Of course, for a very like these already in the original. Players. Expect the unexpected, and I for one can't wait. We can't wait. We can't wait to share them with you. Again. It's so exciting. Incredibly exciting. It's really about yeah. It's like a Fudu, Fudu tribe as well. Amazing feeling. I want to see it in 4K. We're gonna see it in 4K. Welcome, Welcome to PlayStation 5. Show the freaking box, Sony. You can do it. Yeah, it's gameplay, right? It must be. It looked insane. I want to see it again. I want to see it again. Is it, are they going to show the box? Are they going to show the box? They have to. No Call of Duty. That's kind of weird, actually. Are they still going to show that? But I think Horizon is a nice way to end it. Oh my god. Horizon Forbidden West. Love it. Love it. God, look here too. This is really how the PS5 is getting made, like with all these... Uh... Oh. Can we go back? ton of new machines a ton of new machines were shown i loved that there was also in, in monster hunter you have like that machine where it's like a rock and then when you get close yeah wow oh wow two usb one usb that's not a lot but it looks awesome like this looks futuristic man wow what is that like a They're nailing it. Show it. They had to show it. They had to show it. Thunderbolt? Whoa. One USB and a USB-C. Okay, that's actually great. And a stand. Yeah, looks good. But turn it around. PlayStation 5. Sleek. This looks like a thing from the future. This is awesome. When is Horizon 2 coming out? Or Horizon Forbidden West? We have to say Horizon Forbidden West now. Yeah, yeah, do it. Wait, you can buy two? You can buy two if you want. Whoa! Digital edition! Whoa! 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 That was not leaked! That was not leaked! Charging station? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's great. I don't want to plug an HD camera. Pulse, 3D wireless headset, a media remote. You don't need that, trust me. No price? Are they going to drop a price? I don't think so. What a way to end it. We hope you've enjoyed the first glimpse of our future today. You've seen our most striking console design yet, and you've seen games that can only be enjoyed with the full range of PlayStation 5's features and power. At PlayStation, we believe in generational transitions, and we put years of work into making them happen. We want you to enjoy the unique benefits of moving from one generation to the next. Thank you for joining us. We're launching later this year, and we have tons more to share. Welcome to PlayStation 5. Great show. Great show. Yeah, Horizon. I can't believe it. Well done, Sony, I gotta agree. That was a great show. Spider Man, oh my god. Gran Turismo, there's such a killer lineup. Little Big Planet, forgot about that, that one. Demon Souls. Comes. Yeah! Dead Machine! I will be ready. Ratchet. Digital edition, wow, 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 the cat. 
That camera sold insanely well, by the way, for the PS4, so I can totally see why they would want to do it again. Haptic feedback, adaptive. Feedback. No Call of Duty, I'm surprised, but I'm a, like, I would take no Call of Duty over, uh, over any other game. Like, I, I'm fine, I believe it. They likely weren't ready or anything, I would, I would imagine. Oh yeah, we got the Square Enix game as well. Oh, Demon Souls remake. Horizon 2. No gameplay though, I think. Like, that was just a really awesome game. Wow. Yeah. Demon Souls. And this is not even all. Like, God of War is totally coming. Like, they haven't shown that yet. They're saving some things, I'm sure, but... Play has no limits. Okay, that's the slogan. Interesting. Great show. Now, let's get... I'm from uh, the Netherlands, uh, Ibrahim. Wow, wow, wow. Now, okay, Sony, show me the goods. No, Horizon is not there yet. Horizon, you're not there yet. Why? Let's look at Spider-Man. Oh, wow, they got a new uh, thing for PS5. Is Horizon here? Let's go to Twitter. Oh my god, Guerrilla Games. It's real, folks. Horizon Forbidden West. They haven't tweeted yet. Oh wow. Oh! New rideable mount? Oh wow, I love this elephant. Underwater. Oh wow. I feel like I'm dreaming. It's real. I'm gonna save this before they uh, before they remove it. No, they're not gonna. No, they haven't tweeted about it yet. Upload the trailer, you damn fools. We want to see the trailer again. We want to see it in 4K. Oh my god. Okay, let's go to Spider-Man first, shall we? Let's see Spider-Man in 4K. Can't ima- Like, I'm just insanely- Like- how many views does this already have? Oh my god. Woo. 4K, this is gonna be insane. Um, take a look here. Let's take a look. Let me... Oh. I, think huh? I, need, I need to turn on. What? I hear, I heard someone talking. Oh, I'm, we're, I'm in, uh, in in another stream. Okay, we're going back. A yeah, God of War was never really gonna them. happen, I feel. They need more time with Your that. Like, Spider-Man, they're, like, doing a smaller game, I think. It's like mm. a sub-game. And I think it's Who's a great right? idea. This is real. Now it's your turn. If you just joined, they announced Go a new Spider-Man game. Miles. Look at this, 4K. Okay, let's do this. Oh my god, snow! Did you see that? Okay, I'm going to like. Right? Snow on the rooftops. New enemies. Compare this to the PS4 Spider Man footage. Like, how good does this look? Oh my god. Wow. Whoa! Wow, I'm really curious how big this game is though. Wow, love it. Holiday 20 freaking 20. Now I see why they want to release Avengers in September because this game is already coming. Oh my god. 
Okay, is, is uh, Horizon already uploaded? No! Damn it. Release the trailer. Release the trailer. I mean, they did already change that, I guess. Maybe someone on Twitter got it. All digital, that's insane. We announced a new game. Matthijs de Jonge, game director. And it looks single player to me. Aloy is back. The prettiest video game ever made. I totally agree with this. Like, oh my god. Woo! Woo! Ratchet and Clank. Let, let's look at the Ratchet and Clank trailer. Is it still not up? They're, they're getting there. They're getting there eventually. Is Ratchet already up? No. Damn it. Okay, we can go back here, I guess. No. Oh, wow. Other hunters were using Override. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's interesting for sure. Like, like there's already so much to talk about in this single image. Love this machine. And we can ride it. No flying machine though yet. Maybe that's still coming. But I think they might focus on underwater for this one. As a new traversal. Oh wow. We can we can do it like... I just want to... I want to see it in 4K. I want to see the 4K. We can do it like this. And just go here. But then it will not be 4K. Uh. But yeah, it's better than nothing, right? Love how they started with this. You immediately see that it's Horizon thanks to these buildings. The old ones... ...perished a thousand years ago. They're great cities. I hope that some of these animals are still in the game. You would think so, right? In their place came new life. Because they look amazing. Now they better reveal a release date for Horizon PC. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if that's like a blog post at some point. Like it makes sure like it makes sense that they are not like announced. Focus, of course. This machine, like, we're gonna get scared. Like, you think it's just a, a way to stop it. You think it's just like a, a random, like, or we'll get worse. sort of plant worse. in the water, but no, no, there he is. Hello. Oh my god. How can we defeat this one? <laughs> Until it destroys us all. This must be like a new faction. There's nothing. But th it's still not moving, so I'm not sure if that's gonna happen. But that was really like, of course, Forbidden West was this battlefield where really like uh, we, we see a ton of like ancients, uh, like of these scorpion machines. Um, that was really like the Forbidden no, West, really like uh, this world. big battlefield there. No depths I won't and explore. Of course, she's using a special underwater breathing device. I'm really curious how this will play and if we will have combat underwater. I'm not sure if uh, it's up now. Okay, 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 okay. Thanks for noting that. I'm. I, we're not ready. We're not ready for this. Yeah. I'm gonna. I'm gonna try. Okay. There we go. 4K. Let's freaking go. We're gonna. S oh wow. <laughs> like uh, the, the difference is so insane. 4K 1080p. Wow, it's like a different trailer. Thanks for noting, Adama. 4K trailers out. Thanks, we got it. We're look looking at it now. In their place came new life. 
No release date though, no, not yet. But there might be like more info after. Uh... Wow, look at the details of this. this if this is like in-engine, like gameplay. The new dangers. Oh wow, look at this, 4K. Aloy kind of, she, she I looks must like find a. a way to stop it. Or will get worse. And oh my worse. God, this, this this looks like a cinematic trailer. These machines, man. Oh my God. Like the water coming from this from these machines, like the detail is insane. Floating, what the heck is that, man? There's wow. nothing I wouldn't do to save this world. No depths I won't explore. I saw the fire canister already. Prepare those fire arrows for these bad boys. A lot of underwater exploration. No secret I won't unlock. So curious about this. No barrier, I won't cross. Whoa. What is this? She's standing on, on top of it as well. It's like a new... It's like an, another engine machine that we haven't seen yet. Wow, and in the desert. This machine Whoa. is mine. This looks like that. I, I said it in the Unreal Engine 5 demo. Um... I bet you that Horizon 2 is gonna look even better than that Unreal Engine 5 demo, and here we are. Like, look at this. If this is a game that I can play, I, I just don't believe it yet. Does this, like, showcase... Um, I think it's hard to say, because one of the things we, of course, kind of want is just climbable, uh, that we can climb everywhere. Like, is, does this mean that we can, like, climb up um, if we want? Or do we still need to look for specific uh, parts that we can climb? I falter if I fail there won't be anyone left wow like we got we got we got a metal devil tentacle here is this like a this yeah I think this is one of them as well is this the golden gate bridge what is the spider-man launch date uh yeah that's uh, the holiday 2020 San Francisco, yeah, people are saying that. Stop passing, sorry, I wanna like to look at things as well. What's coming. Yeah, what is he up to? He looks so good, by the way. Oh my god, these these creatures. And who are these who are these like these new tribes? Like a voodoo. Oh wow. The evolution of blade hawks. God. No. Oh wow. Oh yeah, we got this already. But uh, they, they did not show this. But whatever comes. Not sure if this is like an extended. But... I love I these elements. No, we. I think we've. Maybe they they show more now. No PlayStation exclusive. PlayStation. 2020, yeah, uh, I don't think we've... Maybe they have some info in the description. Continues Ayla's story as she moves west to, the f to a far future America to brave a majestic but dangerous frontier where she will face an awe-inspiring machines and mysterious new threats. I'm gonna like it. I'm just giving them likes... PS5 is going to be 600 bucks, is that confirmed? I don't think so. Oh, wow. AC Origins Elephants upgraded, yeah. I think this is 2021. But they, they, need, they can take all the time they want. But I think it's 2020. There's nothing I wouldn't do to save this world. No I can look at I this for explore. freaking hours. I'm not sure if you got anything else to do. I should probably make a video on this. No secret. Is it Guns N' Monsters gameplay? Is that not like League gameplay? 
Looks amazing, even watching 4K video on a 1080p monitor, yeah. You, you even like, when you go from 1080p to 4K, even no if you have, don't have a 4K no monitor, cost. it's still like, the in, the amount of detail on screen is insane. This mission is what mine the heck alone. is this? Like, is this like a sort of bandit camp where they have an... It looks like a sort of... What the heck is it, man? It's mine alone. If I falter, if I fail, there won't be anyone left to stop what's coming. So many new machines. And it's already like a, a swine. No new mount for Alo yet. Yeah, I don't know, but I have to like look a little more in depth to it. Like, is because I think there were already theories if the Forbidden West was like in what part of like you can likely look at buildings like this and then kind of get an idea of where it is in the world is. But this looked like the Golden Gate Bridge, so I'm not sure if this is San Francisco. I, I don't think so. Love this, by the way. Horizon 2, Forbidden West. Mammoths, not elephants. Thanks for pointing it out, Hyperboom. What? Did they announce the price? No way. I don't think they announced the price. Yeah, what, what else is there to say? Um... I'm speechless. Uh, this really looks insane. Looks insane. A dead tall neck that made it like a camp. Ghost. Uh, if you, by the way, got input, hit me up. Like, uh, input at joraptor.com. If you got, like, interesting things that you want to say. They did not announce the price, right? No, I, I don't think so as well. Like, people are making stuff up. But that they have an all digital edition makes me think that there is indeed, um, like, not a pri like, there is, like, the regular version is likely going to be super expensive. That's my take, at least. And that's why they want to have a, sm a cheaper version. Where did you watch the 4K trailer? It's on the official PlayStation account. And, uh, how many views does it already have? A lot. I'm liking my own tweet. This is what I've been waiting for. Oh, no, no, no. Okay. I will be off. I will be actually finishing off my Last of Us Part 2 video. I will be making an Horizon video and everything else really, really soon. I will be doing my... Um, my uh, I will post my live reaction right now on the channel. And then do an in-depth video very, very soon. So, ma new melee weapon in Talana's Hunt. Yeah, must be, right? Like a, a blade or something. Wow. Insane. Insane. I can't get enough. <laughs> I'm not sure. Is this gameplay? Like, I can't believe it. I must find a way to stop it. So, this fox was, like, helping Jin in Ghost of Tsushima. And, uh, like, uh, in the future, he's dead. That's, like, kind of the, the... It's, like, one universe, right? The PlayStation universes. Okay, I'm talking... I'm, go I'm going a little crazy here. Uh, I appreciate everyone joining. Subscribe, of course, to the channel and follow and all that sort of stuff. I'll be covering this game a ton. Uh, I can't wait. Looks amazing. Um, and Spider-Man and just a ton to discuss. So I will totally be making videos, but I will do that tomorrow when it's not like super late. So I uh, totally expect that. I will be uh, uploading my live reaction. Thanks, everyone, for joining. This was a great stream. Um... And uh, yeah, I will speak to you next time. Goodbye.